Alright, what's going on everybody? Shanghai 20, YouTube.com. Just a little update on my new fight stick. I've been showing a couple, I've been showing a, a, a Photoshop tutorial about how to get new fight sticks out and stuff like this. This is just a little update to see what I got. I'm, I can ask, I'll ask for you guys advice if you guys look at the top. I got my man Blackheart from Northwest Capcom 3. I swear to God, he should be in this fucking game. If Dormammu and Modoc are in this game, Blackheart should be in this game. No, no questions if there's a button. But, anyway, it's whatever. It doesn't... Man, you can never get what you want in the fighting games, particularly from Capcom. My big pet peeve is from Capcom. They don't seem to care too much about the games and the qualities and how to maintain that quality. They just kind of go for the whole, that old green back, that old fuzzy palm shit, man. But anyway, I'm just going to review some of the stuff I did. I mean, I'm not going to be technical, I'm just going to show you the pictures, really, just an update. Then I can, I want to talk about uh, some of the stuff that came on this weekend. I'm a big fan of uh, cartoons. I'm a, I only watch cartoons. If you can hear in the background, that's uh, CeeLo Green. He was on the last episode, the newest episode of uh, American Dad, which I have to say is one of the best episodes in has. I'm just going to play something in the background because I, I, felt, I actually just like the song. So, if you see, put Nina in there. Pretty tasty. Sakura. So I put Morgan in there, even though I did have her in my other fight skin. I mean, one of my favorite female characters. She's a she's a whore. She's a floor, so you know you gotta keep her in there. Poison, which I know is pretty controversial for people who actually know about video games and about video game history. Poison was actually a, a, a character that comes in as a I don't know I guess a mouthpiece for Hugo, huge, huge wrestling, grappling character from Third Strike and from Fatal Fury, well, Final Fight, I'm sorry, but the secret was that she was actually a guy, if you looked it up from, from well, I'm sure they changed it now because of the new game, they can't have a cross dresser in the game, so they, they completely changed it to a man, so, I mean, I mean to a woman, which is cool, because it'd be weird for me to have it on here, but... In reality, she was a woman. She was a man, but they changed the canon up, and now she's definitely a woman. So I don't feel weird having her on there. Plus, she had a nice cam, so you can't hate that. Then at the bottom here, I found a fantastic picture of um of her name is uh, you know Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman during the Blackest Night series, she gets turned into well, spoiler alert, guys. So if you wanna not hear what I have to say about it, then don't. But Wonder Woman turns into uh, a, a Star Sapphire. And if you didn't, if that's a spoiler for you, grow the fuck up and read a comic book. We need pe more people to read comic books anyway. And that's actually a fantastic series. Jury, I'll get, I'll get the same expression I had before. She'll never be in another game. Capcom makes these characters to basically make fun of you for wanting other characters. It's like, hey, you want, you want, um, let's say, you see, um, Devil Meister. You want Devil Meister in any games? Ah, fuck you. We'll make up a character, we'll make up Jerry. And she'll only be in one game. It's just a stopgap until we get some more money in. The beautiful and vivacious Vixen. Fucking love her. She's just awesome. Another fantastic DC character. If you can't tell by now by the fight art I've been getting and uh, and kind of my plans towards comics, I'm a DC fan. DC. Go DC! Marvel burn to the ground. Oh, I'm lying. I mean, that's my, my base feeling on it, but in reality, it's actually a decent company. They need to give up Wolverine as a fucking franchise for their entire fucking thing because it's not a great model. And if you go to a comic book store, there's 12 
the twelve comic ongoing comic series with Wolverine as the character as the main character. You can't carry that many. You're not Batman. Only Batman can do that kind of kind of foolishness. But like I said, this is just an update of the of the work. If you guys have any comments, hey, kind of think about it. Hey, this is a committee. Tell me who to put on here. Tell me who I'm missing. Tell me a vivacious, big titty bitch or a rough riding chick like my Koyo. I'll put them on there. Dude, definitely give me a request. Leave the comments in the bottom. At the bottom of the page. Well, alright. That's enough of the fire stick artwork. When I'm finished with it, I'll definitely put it back up here for a show. But... This is a, cu a couple of minutes on the CeeLo Green episode of American Dad. And I want to talk about The Simpsons for a, a, just a few seconds. I'm not going to make this video even bigger than it is. But I have to say this is probably one of the best videos they've had. I mean, the shows they've had. I mean, in terms of song quality, it's pretty much spot on. And I mean, CeeLo Green's voice is fantastic. I've always felt so. Ever since he was in the Goody Mob. Everyone knows the Goody Mob. Who's that peeping through my window? How? Nobody now. Yeah, that's right. That's Philo. I'm showing my age a little. But, I mean, it, it was a fantastic episode. I'm not going to get too more deep into it. If you want to watch the episode, I would definitely recommend it. It's hilarious. Family Guys, a show I wouldn't say was funny up until a certain point, and now, it's generally funny. I mean, it's not Simpsons, but it is generally funny. Now, that's a big thing I wanted to talk about, The Simpsons. The Simpsons, by far, have to be the best series going, by bar none. I mean, I don't think any tops it, anything tops it in, form, uh, in terms of relevance or at least enjoyability. I, I find it to be one of the more refreshing things on to watch. Um, as in regards to the, to, to the ongoing, I guess, the canon of Simpsons, uh, everyone knows Ned Flanders' wife was killed at a, a sporting event when, uh, Homer was trying to get, uh, t-shirts from the t-shirt cannon and got it shot at him, like, uh, a consolidated blast by three or four women with the t-shirt cannon to aim at his stomach and... Homer found a penny on the floor and bent over. When he bent over, all the T-shirts flew flew past him and hit Maude Flanders right off the edge of the of the edge of the stadium, killing her. Up until this that point, up until this point, Flanders really hasn't had anybody in his life. I mean, there's been cameos, but you know, cameos for that episode, and when they're gone, it's gone. But in this one. It looks like he's actually hooking up with uh, with Mrs. Uh, Edna Krabappel. And it looks like they actually, well, they actually did have a poll online, and people got to vote. I, I voted. Go Team Nedna. I am definitely Team Nedna. I think that Ned Flanders is a, was a cool character. I'm not a Christian. I don't really have a religion. But I found that he, he deserved a wife. Everyone else has a wife. Why the hell not him? Barney was married at one point. Why not Flanders have another wife? But that, that, that's all I have to say about that. I, I definitely have to say The Simpsons are some of the best stuff out to watch. If you have a chance, Sundays, go ahead and watch it. Definitely watch. I'm not affiliated with any Fox show or station or anything, so don't don't think I'm just trying to tell you stuff. Now. I have been showing this picture for a while, and I know it's kind of boring to just look at pictures. I still have not yet figured out how to put, like, pictures and cool stuff up there, like, uh, like Angry Joe, or, um, I would say Yahtzee, he's a great one, or, um, the Game Overthinker, or Movie Bob. Those guys are great. You should go take a look at their websites after mine. They're, they're fantastic. On Screw It Attack, or, um... I don't know, blister thumbs, you can probably find all that kind of stuff. I, but looking at this artwork, this is another kind of leak, since no one's been seeing these characters, a leak of the new characters for uh, Skullgirls. From what I can tell, they say her name is Squiggy, or Squiggly. 
And as you can see, she has like a giant snake-like protrusion from her head. It might curl around her body, but I, I and I can't speculate on anything about her movements or how she fights. She just looks pretty fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my good friend definitely gonna mess with her. And then we have um, what is this? I I I don't quite. Didn't quite get her name. I forgot it. But she actually has like a giant Yuffie from Final Fantasy VII uh, blade on her back that I'm sure is going to be used in the combo. And it's interesting if you look at her face. It's not for this picture. I mean, the picture is Photoshop. But if you look at her face, it's kind of scarred up, and she has red eyes. When you look at all the other characters from Skullgirls, they're not the same. They're not like that. So, I mean, it comes to a play where they have a deep storyline to it. I suggest you go to SkullGirls.com, too. You can see all that kind of cool shit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's all I wanted to say tonight. Um, happy Halloween. Huh? I like that shit. We're coming up on that. But, um, yeah, guys, you know, leave me some comments. Um, tell me what you want to see, what you want to hear. Tell me what you want a tutorial of. Tell me what you want me to rant about. Tell me what games you want me to review or not review or not tell you about or not not do anything with. Or tell me you want to hear about comics. I'm definitely leaning towards making more comic reviews. I have large limited collect, limited edition collection of a lot of comics, a lot of contemporary comics, so I'm definitely willing to do that. I love comics. Um, peace.